That's an important question. Would you say, who am I? To find out who you are, you have to inquire. You are the story of mankind. If you really see that, it gives you tremendous Vitality, energy, beauty, love. Because it is no longer a small entity struggling in the corner of the earth. You're part of this whole hum humanity. It has a tremendous responsibility, vitality, beauty, love. But most of us won't see this. But whereas we are most of us concerned with ourselves, we are talking of a revolution, not physical, but the rev psychological revolution in which there is no, at the depth, conformity. Conformity exists when there is comparison. For a mind to be totally free from
when we were discussing anxiety and laughter and the relationship between the two. I uh, suggested that anxiety and laughter are really the same phenomenon, but seen from different points of view. As we all know, we can have shudders of horror and shudders of delight, tears of grief and tears of joy. And uh, it's the same shudders and the same tears in either case, but they have a completely different meaning. Now, life, se life is a matter of oscillation. Light is vibration. It's the whole time and all the way through. The question is, how are you going to interpret that? Is it tremble, tremble, tremble? Or is it laugh, laugh, laugh? <laughs> that's, the, that's the great thing. And sometimes it's one, and sometimes it's the other. So that the, the whole thing of the Joker is the, the, he, he comes into being, as it were, at the point when the anxiety interpretation of the trembling becomes the laughing interpretation. present is the only real time. There is no past and there isn't a future and there never will be. We think ordinarily of the present as an infinitesimal point at which the future changes into the past and we also do a terrible thing. We imagine ourselves to be results of the past. So you see we're always passing the buck. We don't realize that the past is caused by the present as the wake of a ship flows back from the prow.
Well, I have a sort of suggestion, and that is this, that before we decide either to save the planet or to destroy it, we pause for a moment of silence. I don't mean that kind of grim silence which one observes when somebody says, uh, such and such a famous person has just died and we'll observe a moment of silence in his honor and everybody frowns and thinks very serious thoughts. That's not silence at all. I mean real silence in which we stop thinking and experience reality as reality is. Because after all, if I talk all the time, I can't hear what anyone else has to say. And if I think all the time, and by that I mean specifically talking to yourself subvocally inside your skull. If I think all the time, I have nothing to think about except thoughts. And so I'm never in touch with the real world. Now what is the real world? Some people have the theory that the real world is material or physical. I say it's made a kind of a stuff. Other people have the theory that the real world is spiritual or mental. But I want you to point out that both those theories of the world are concepts. They are constructions of words. And the real world is not an idea. It is not words. Reality is...